Hey guys, welcome to today's 1-6 Galaxies video. Today we are taking a look at TMS-108, that being the Imperial version of the Praetorian Guard from the Mandalorian Season 3. Um, if you saw the previous videos, you would know that this was ordered from Pop Culture um, because there was the recent icon batch and just because of invoicing and then postage times and whatnot, um, this figure wasn't delivered until yesterday. So here we are taking a look at him. Um, this is also the first six scale video that I'm filming on the iPhone 16 Pro. So hopefully it's a little bit clearer than previous videos. Um, alrighty, so we can see, but it is the standard um, Star Wars shoe style box that we've gotten for a while now. Um, so we have the front of the box showcasing the figure itself with one of the chosen weapons. Coming down, there is the ribbon. Um, Team S108 Imperial Praetorian Guard. Um, we can see that it showcases another one of the figure's accessories. Um, and then around to uh, this side, we have the ribbon showcasing the final uh, weapon that this guy includes. Back of the box is the logos. The other side just reminds us of the figure's name. Um, being the shoe style box, we do of course get the art insert. And this art insert showcases that scene from The Mandalorian Season 3. Um, so it shows you the three looks that you can get for these guys. Um, in terms of weaponry, and then of course um, going up against um, Vizsla there. Um, so being a, sort of a trooper type of figure, um, he doesn't come with too many spare hands. So he comes, um, each of his hands does include um, this uh, red kind of a wrap. Um, it looks really cool. You can see the gloves are molded quite nicely. Um, it does do its part, so we get that hand. Um, then we get this kind of intimidating uh, gesturing type of a hand. Um, and then of course we get the two relaxed hands that are already on the figure. Um, and then we get a hand for gripping the weaponry, both right and left versions. Um, of that particular hand. Um, there were those little silver clips. Um, that is uh, for if you choose to split one of the weapons down the middle, um, which we will see sometime soon. Um, yeah, so there really is a lot you can do with this guy. Um, so the weapons are quite large as they were with the original Last Jedi versions of the figure. Um, so we get this kind of energy axe type thing. Um, so we can see that it is very nicely detailed. We have the energy blade at the top. We can see like the wiring where it would be powered. Um, and then of course we can see the handle. Um, but yeah, quite, quite a long weapon. Um, then of course we have the energy sword. Um, it does have the um, string going down the middle to separate the sections. Um, similar to how it appeared in The Last Jedi, just I suppose an earlier version of it because of course this is set well before that. Um, and then we get another version of that energy axe, but this time it does have a sword on the end. Um, and then as I showed before, um, you can actually separate it here, uh, and then you would use those two connectors um, to have it be two different weapons uh, if um, you so choose. Um, so by far the longest of the three weapons that are included, um, but also uh, looking quite intimidating uh, and looking very cool. does include the standard Star Wars style base, so Star Wars Imperial Praetorian Guard, um, and then we have that design that we've gotten for a while now, but at least it keeps everything nice and uniform. Alrighty, let's take a look at the figure itself. Um, so you can see that he is very glossy and reflective, um, similar to the Last Jedi ones were. Um, this guy does feel more 
like a royal guard um and i guess it's because he does have a fair bit of um fabric we do have the fabric undersuit um similar to what uh the return of the jedi royal guards had um and then he's got the fabric um dress skirt um and whatnot you just do want to be mindful of the stand uh getting in the way of the outfit um, but yeah, you can see uh, this guy does look a lot more medi medievally, a lot more knightly, and I suppose that's to match Gideon's uh, armor at the end of that season um, as well. Um, so you can see the side view of the helmet there. Coming down, we can see the rest of the armor. There's that skirt again, those red um, boots. Um, the back of the outfit is a lot more fabric um, based as well. Um, with that skirt continuing Pretty much from the waist um from above the waist uh down um and you can see that it sits quite well um you just gotta kind of make sure that the um stand doesn't bunch up with it um making it look a bit puffier than it should um i do think having the fabric undersuit is going to help this guy's articulation as well um I don't think he's going to have any of those stiffness issues uh, that the previous versions of this uh, figure had. And again, you can see um, that shine on the armor. back to the front um so yeah overall i think this is a really nice looking figure um i do see the um i suppose sort of temptation to army build with him um being that he does uh have those options um i do have three of the older version so i've got uh two heavy blades i think and then i've got one of the um alternate look for the last jedi one um because they had different helmets this guy just includes three different weapons, um, so if you're army building him, it's for that purpose. Um, I do think that just because of the way the dress um, sits, the skirt sits, um, with the stand, it is going to puff out at the back and it is going to give him that sort of look that he's leaning, um, that you probably would have seen um, in the side profile of the video. I do think he is going to stand there quite well, um, and you can see um, that his articulation is actually pretty good, um, despite the suit. Um, you are probably going to want to focus on, um, moving the biceps more than anything else, but, um, it's not overly restrictive, or it's definitely not as restrictive as what the previous versions of the figure are. Um, I was able to get this, um, with a 10% pre-order bonus and then another 10% on top of that. So I think they were only about, um, there were three something, it was three something. Um, I do know that the retail price is slightly higher. Jefferson Tan does have some that are cheaper than pop culture, um, if you haven't ordered this guy yet. Um, look, if they're still in stock when pop culture is their next sale, I might consider getting an, an extra one. Um, but there is so much coming out and there was so much announced this week as well. But I'm not too sure even if I want to worry too much about picking up um more than this guy i think that's just going to come down to um how selective you're going to be um in terms of characters and things moving forward anyway guys this has been a look at team s108 hopefully um you enjoyed the information in this video um do join the group um we have the live chat uh, we have the group chat as well um, where we have a lot more discussion and people share things and whatnot as well 
Anyway, guys, once again, thank you for watching.